In this video, we'll be looking into the second theorem that is pumping lemma for regular languages. So a regular language RL is accepted by finite state machine. So that is for any regular language, we can construct a finite state machine. But for a non-regular non language, it is impossible to have an equivalent finite state machine, which accepts only one regular uh, language. So using pumping lemma, uh, we'll be like proving that. We'll be uh, checking if the language is regular or not. So let's, that, that, that's what the theorem is about. That is pumping lemma for regular languages. So firstly, let's consider uh, L be any language. Accept, accepted by the NFA or DFA. So this language would be called as regular ra language RL. So here there exists a constant n not uh, such that any sentence such that any sentence z in l could be written as z is greater than n not the condition can be written as So here the first condition is Z can be written as U V W. So length of string must be uh, greater than the constant N. Yes, this is the first. And then here we divide the Z into equal parts that is U V and W. So here there are three conditions. The first one is says that the length of V should be greater than one or equal to one. Second one says that the product of U V or concatenation of U V should be less than or equal to n not constant that is the constant and the third one says that any string of the form uh, any string of the form u v dash w such that i is u v power i w such that i is greater than or uh, greater than or equal to 0 is in the language L or every string longer than number of states may cause a state to repeat. So uh, looking into the proof like starting with the proof now. So let L be a language that is accepted by DFM. Yes. So let's define the lang uh, let's define the DFSM DFM DFA. So here M is equal to Q Sigma epsilon q naught in f so here let's set small q here so here mod of q is equal to n naught that is then that let mod of q is n naught and let z is equal to a1 a2 a3 and so on here a1 a2 a3 represent the symbols used so here M goes through a sequence of n plus 1 states from Q0 being the start state, right? From Q0, Q1 to Qn, where Q0 belongs to the start state, Q0 is the start state, and Qn, or uh, let's write Qf, being the final state or the accepting state or uh, while accepting the z right so as only n naught is less than n plus 1 states are available 
some states would be repeated like again and again in that case the diagram would be the representation would be q not under u transition would give lead to q and from q we get the final state w and there could be uh, repeat repetitions happening so q being the intermediate state q not being the start and q f being the final state so here u v w can be uh, split as u is equal to a1 a2 till ai then v is equal to ai plus 1 till j and w could be written as aj plus 1 aj plus 2 till a power uh, a to the a n so here uh, the transitions would be transition of q naught on u would give q itself or uh, like q naught on u would be give q transition of q naught on v would give q self loop and transition of q naught on w uh, q on w would give q f that is the final state so here if you see v repeats n number of times under the condition i greater than or equal to 0 so we uh, here we have transition of q on v would give q itself that is the self loop as v is repeated i number of times the transition can be written as transition of q on v bar gives q so here let's write on i repetitions we can write transition of q on v bar gives q itself so therefore the dfa m accepts the string u v bar w so here we have z equals u v bar w for i is equal to 0 1 2 3 till n so sorry this is v power i v power i because on i repetitions uh, q to the power uh, q v power i so here also let's write i so when i is equal to 0 we get z as u w when i is equal to 1 when i is equal to 1 we get z as u v w i is equal to 2 we get z is equal to u v square w when i is equal to n we get z is equal to u v power n w so uh, so we can conclude that the automata accepts u and w so for i greater than or equal to 0 u v v n w is accepted so u v uh, power n and w is a language l here uh, yeah so we have proved one point to remember is that the pumping lemma is mainly used to prove that is mainly used to prove that the language is regular or not certain language is regular or not and it could be applied to only finite languages so i hope uh, the proof was clear if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you